Hello, uh, let's talk a little bit more about functional programming. In this video, I want to show how we can work with a grid, and in particular, I want to um, have it so that we can take a grid as a list of lists and write some functions that will modify a value inside of there. So, the way that this uh, will work, let's go ahead and let's create um, and you might notice that I have stopped using the R5 RS. I've gone to using Racket. Um, for most of the things that we've been using, it really doesn't matter. Uh, there are a few things that are defined in Racket, for example, that aren't in uh, the R5 RS. Random is one of them. Um, R5 RS doesn't have random, which is kind of a pain if you want to do anything that involves random numbers. Um, so set grid. We're going to pass in a grid, and actually, let's go ahead and let's define grid to be so. I'm going to make a five by five grid of values: two, three, four, five and start off with it all being zeros. So we take a grid, I want to pass in a row number, a column number, and the value that I want to set at that location. And what should this do? Well, this function is going to run down and find the right row, and then it's going to call another function that alters that row, and then as it pops back out of the recursion, it's going to build back up the grid because I'm not going to change the grid. What I'm actually going to do is build a new grid that has uh, this value stored inside of it. So my termination condition is if the row is zero, that means that I'm on the right row, and what I want to return is the cons of, uh, we'll call our function set row and I'm going to pass it the row in question, which is the car of the grid. We're already on the right row, so I don't need that information. The column that I want and the, and the value that I want to set there. And then I want to cons that onto the cutter of grid. And so, for example, if I told it to work on row number two, it would get to here, and what it would return is the modified version of this cons onto everything else. So this would wind up returning the bottom three and the call stack would have the consing of the top two above it. And that's where this comes in. So what if we're not at the row that we're looking for? Well then we're going to cons the car of grid onto a recursive call to set grid. So we recursively call set grid. In this case the grid is the cutter the row is going to be r minus 1, same column, same value. So this is a nice, in some ways, happy set grid function. Um, however, it relies on a set row, which I haven't written yet. I could define that internally. However, then if I were to run into problems, I couldn't debug it. So at least to start off with, I'm going to define it out here. This takes a row. Um, the column that we want to set, the value that we want to set. And the function actually looks remarkably similar to what we wrote for set grid. If the column is zero, well that means that I've found the element that I want to replace and I want to recons, to cons the new value onto the cutter of row. Otherwise, I need to cons the element that we're on onto the recursive call. Set row, once again it's the cutter of row and C minus 1, same value. So I can save that, I can run this, oops, quote, run it, and then I can do things like set grid 
of the grid we defined above, I'm going to put at 2, 2, I'm going to put the value 3. So this should write, give me back a new grid that has a value 3 stored right in the middle. And you can see that indeed that is what we get back from here. So uh, this is a two simple functions that set values in a grid. They use variables to do this, so they are extremely flexible. Anytime that you have something that stores data in this type of format, you could use uh, these functions for it. The get grid, so if you just want to get a value out of it, would look a lot like this, except it doesn't even have cons. Um, so you're going to vary a few things. You don't need to pass in a value you're setting. You don't need to con stuff. And it simplifies down a little bit. But I'll let you work that out for yourself. That's it for this video.